Welcome. This is question 9 today and the question is on linear motion. So the question reads the figure below shows a velocity time graph for a wagon and the graph is as shown. So here we have velocity against time and from the graph we are required to answer the question find the total distance traveled by the wagon so from a velocity time graph when you are asked to calculate the total distance then what we simply do is to get the area under the graph so as you can see from the graph uh, the figure below the graph is a trapezium so we are going to get the area of the trapezium and that will be the distance of course in meters so apart from that we can also subdivide it into different parts so that you have a triangle a rectangle and another triangle so get their areas and add up so the one you find easiest for you so for this particular case i'll go by area of the trapezium so the solution to this would be area of a trapezium is a half times the height and the height of this trapezium is 80 as you can see from this particular point the height the maximum velocity so the height is 80 so we have a half times the height into brackets the sum of the two parallel sides so the length of the two parallel sides so from here to this end we have 24 plus on the other side we have from this point here to this point right here should be 20 minus 4 and that is 16. so what you're simply going to have have is a is equal to 40 that is a half times 80 by so here also we have 40 so this should give us 1600 meters so apart from that part b of the question asks for how long did it maintain a constant speed so that's we will have to determine from the graph so on the graph we need to see beginning from zero the velocity is increasing steadily and as the velocity is increasing steadily it comes to a point that is at 80 meters per second as time continues from four seconds up to 20 you realize that it is flat so that simply means that the velocity was constant it was not changing so it remained at 80 meters per second from time 4 seconds up to time 20 seconds so the time it took to maintain a constant speed so the solution to this the time it took to maintain a constant speed was from 4 seconds up to 20 seconds so we get the difference 20 minus 4 which is 16 seconds so as simple as that that is the end of the question so thank you for your patience thanks for watching and see you next time